Shivananda Sharma Memorial RV College accredited by NAC with A grade and ranked among top 5 colleges in India presents video lectures an ISR initiative. SSMRV College, one of the premier institutions run by the prestigious RV group of institutions has come up with a unique initiative to engage students at the time of this unforeseen medical emergency caused by corona outbreak. As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses cost. In this connection, I, Vidya Yojambagi of BCom department, has posted a video on the subject Advanced Financial Accounting on the topic Consignment Accounts. Please watch the video till the end and like, share with your peer groups and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you. Introduction to Consignment Accounts. Consignment accounts. First, let us look at the meaning of the term consignment. Consignment is an agreement under which a manufacturer or a wholesaler sends goods to his agent for the purpose of sale on his behalf and at his own risk on commission basis. So, what do we understand by this meaning given to us? So, consignment is different from sale. Consignment does not mean sale. So, consignment means you are going to send your goods to somebody else who is going to sell the goods on your behalf. Okay. So, if Mr. X wants to sell his goods, he is in, let us say, Mr. X is in Mumbai. He wants to sell his goods in Delhi. So, instead of he going to Delhi and selling the goods, he will send the goods to Mr. Y who resides in Delhi and who is an agent. So, Mr. X sends the goods on consignment to Mr. Y and this is referred to as consignment. So, the person who is sending the goods on consignment is called the consigner. So, here in our example, Mr. X is the consigner and Mr. Y who is taking the goods from Mr. X on consignment, he is referred to as the consignee or the agent. Now, what are the different terms used in consignment? I have just listed out few terms which are used in consignment accounts. First one, advance. Sometimes consigner may ask the consignee to pay an advance for the part of the value of the goods consigned. This may be paid by the consignee in the form of draft or check. So, everybody are aware of the term advance. All of you know the meaning of the term advance. So, what is an advance? An advance is the money that is paid by the consignee to the consigner which will be part of the value of the goods that is consigned to him. Now, supposing Mr. X consigns goods worth rupees 1 lakh to Mr. Y on consignment. So, Mr. X may ask for some advance from Mr. Y. So, the value of the goods is rupees 1 lakh. So, he may ask for an advance of say rupees 10,000. Now, this is referred to as advance. Next term, account sales. This is a statement sent by the consignee to the consigner periodically giving details of goods sold, expenses incurred by him on the goods consigned, 
commission earned by him, amount of advance adjusted, balance outstanding, etc. So what is this account sales? Account sales is basically a statement which is prepared by the consignee and sent to the consigner periodically. So what does this statement contain? It contains the details of how much of goods he has been able to sell, what is the expenditure he has incurred for selling those goods, and what is the commission that he has earned on the goods sold by him, and if he has already paid any advance to the consigner, so that advance money has to be adjusted, and what is the balance amount that is outstanding, which should be paid by the consigner to the consignee. The next term is commission. So as we are all aware of, commission is the remuneration paid by the consigner to the consignee for the services rendered by the consignee in selling the consigned goods. So this commission can be of three types. The first one, ordinary commission. When the consignee is not responsible for any bad debts, he is paid ordinary commission. So he does not take the responsibility for any of the credit sales made by him. That is, he if any of the credit sales turns out to be a bad debt, he does not take the responsibility of that. Whereas under Del Credar Commission, the consignee he is responsible for any bad debts. So it is his responsibility to collect the money due on credit sales. Then the third type is overriding commission. This is an extra commission that is given by the consigner to the consignee to promote sales. Now generally overriding commission is paid when the consignee sells the goods at a price higher than what is the actual price of the goods. So if he sells the goods at a higher price, then on that higher price, he will be given commission and that is referred to as overriding commission. Now, let us look at few of the features of consignment. First one. The relationship between the consigner and consignee is that of principal and agent. Second one, the consigner does not sell the goods to consignee. He only transfers the possession of the goods but does not transfer the ownership. So he has not sold the goods to the consignee. Then the third one. Goods are to be sold by the consignee at a profit. So the consignee is supposed to sell the goods at a profit. Only then he can be paid his remuneration, which is referred to as the commission. Then the fourth one, any stock that remains unsold with the consignee, it belongs to the consigner. So it has to be returned back to the consigner. And the fifth one, the consignee is allowed to incur expenses to sell the goods consigned which will be reimbursed by the consigner. Any expenditure which the consignee incurs for the purpose of selling the goods consigned, only such expenses will be reimbursed by the consignor. between sale and consignment. Sale and consignment are definitely not the same. Few differences are listed out here. Under sale, the ownership of goods sold is transferred from seller to buyer. The ownership of goods sent, it is not sold, it's only sent remains with the consigner. The second difference, the relationship between buyer and seller is that of a creditor and a debtor. Whereas under consignment, the relationship between buyer and seller is that of a principal and an agent. The third difference, 
in sale any risk relating to goods is on the buyer once it is sold under consignment any risk relating to goods consigned is on the consigned so the fourth difference goods sold cannot be returned back by the buyer the only exception is only if it's defective goods or if it's the goods which is not as per the specification mentioned only then the buyer can return back the goods otherwise there is no option to return the goods whereas under consignment goods sent on consignment which is unsold that can be returned to the consigner 